currently the owner of Jesse's Rib Shack, which was established in 1987 by my grandfather. My grandfather had fun, like it was great. And as a child growing up, I was able to like experience a lot with him from the cooking aspect. He showed me how to cook the barbecue. Um, he had his own famous barbecue sauce. He showed me how to make that. So 90% of the sauce that was made back then, I was making it. Once he was cooking ribs and he cooked some in the house and then some people came by and they taste them and then they sent some other people by and they told him about how good his rib was and he said he always thought about having a barbecue grill so that was his inspiration for opening up the shack. He had a weekend hobby of doing barbecue so the barbecue business came from his background of being from Dalton, Alabama. He brought down the southern style of barbecue. Life going up with him was great. Like the shack was a fun thing. Like that was his hobby. It was like a Friday, Saturday deal that he did. Fridays after school, I would go out there and help him. I was, I was taught how to chop ribs, serve ribs. My grandfather, you know, was a still, I mean, was a great, great man, great teacher, great, you know, he showed us everything that he knows. You know, he taught us everything. Jamal would follow Jesse and he would always be out to the barbecue pit with Jesse trying to learn and Jesse would always show him things and pick him up and put him up to the grill so he could see what was going on and he followed him all the way through so much until when Jesse would not let Jamal ride the school bus. He would always take him to school because he was so protective of Jamal and Jamal and Jesse always had a great relationship. October 22nd, 2011, my grandfather just was, he was having a lot of complications that, that evening and um, watched him take his last breath. And after that, that whole week uh, leading up to the funeral uh, for my grandfather, it was just a lot. I was doing a lot of contemplating about where my life was at, what I wanted to do with it. The day of the funeral, I made an announcement at the uh, ceremony. I was just pretty much like, I'm gonna keep the shack going. I'm gonna continue to my grandfather's legacy. I'm gonna make him my household name. I'm gonna put my heart and soul into it, and that's pretty much how I began the shack. After that, uh, April of 2012, I opened the shack. I reopened the shack. I did a grand opening. I've been going at it ever since. He's trying to carry on something that my grandfather you know, gave him, you know, so it's something that's going to be big, um, bigger than what it already is, bigger, it's just, I'm just proud of him, you know, as his, as his sister, his, you know, I'm his motivator, I'm his go get it, you can do it, you know, I'm very proud of my brother. Oh, what it was back then, it was not, it's, it's not, it's, it's, it's awesome, the food and everything awesome, and the cook is just amazing cooking, it's real nice, it's wonderful. All types of seafood, all kinds of food, the ribs and chicken, everything's awesome. I like to have a plate right now. With well, my grandfather passing, you know, it's just like a big deal. It's just like a big deal for me to continue on this legacy. So hopefully, like, my kids are able to see this and grow into this and establish their own Jesse's. Like, my ideal goal is for my kids to own and operate their own Jesse's. One thing that I would probably say to my grandfather if I can see him again. First and foremost, I'll tell him I love him. I'll tell him how much I appreciate every day, every moment, every day that he spent with me, from driving me to school every day to watching me over the years, taking me in. Like, I would just thank him for everything that he's done and also for allowing me to continue on his legacy. This is Jesse's, the life. Jesse's!